At the master classes in Santiago de Compostela, uh, Segovia and the students seem to have covered an enormous section of the uh, repertory. And uh, as producer of his recordings for many years, uh, I recorded many of these pieces. And I think early, early on when he performed Bach and the Chacon, it, it was uh, criticized by certain musicologists and the public. Why play this on the guitar? That it was not a piece for the guitar. It was not, of course, and Segovia entered the Sancto Sanctorum of the other musicians. And, uh, but he did it with love. And he took that instrument and he made it sound like its real uh, home was the guitar. I think there has been a cultural revolution in the performance of Bach's music and uh, the freedom and, and the love with which Segovia played it uh, are no longer the most important thing, unfortunately. It is not necessary to, to, to play it, uh, it is a little too quick. The pianist play it quicker, yeah. but it's not correct because it is a Spanish thing. Yeah. It's like a little tonadilla from the 18th century. Then if you... Uh, How does it feel watching yourself after all these years? I wish I could go right back into it. It's like uh, seeing your hometown, you know. After you've been away for a long time, you see everything, you hear everything, you recognize the sounds, you recognize the ideas. And the things I was doing there were so immature. Was the experience of just listening to him demonstrate and being exposed to how he grappled with the instrument and the music. All of that. As important as uh, whatever he might have said to you technically or... Sometimes instrument. even more important yeah. because the words, you know, fly. And the, the things we see, I used to watch his hands, his motion, his movements, the way he would uh, reach the strings, the way he would get things. All of this in a contemplative manner, without critical mm. eye. Uh, and I would absorb from that because I was ready to do so. I was there and, and it was my time to learn. And he was, it was his time to teach. Yeah. At the time I was seeing these passages uh, as technical feats, like... Uh, I had to get through those mm. things and, and, and I was worried when it came and what he taught me to do was something that developed many years later was to just love them. Mm -hmm. 
It's a, it's a it's conversation. You're talking, mm. you're telling a story, and the story is beautiful. It has nothing to do with technical feats. For me, uh, it was uh, whether I loved it or not. Mm. And when the music is loved, it lives. It does. Beautiful. But of course, not all the lessons were a matter of love. <laughs> Para que todo el... ¡Qué manía tenéis! Yo no soy amigo de los portamentos, pero hay algunos que son absolutamente esenciales para la guitarra. Why suppress that? I am not friend of portamentos, but this should be done because in the guitar might sound better than in any other instrument. Let's see what there is contrary to aesthetics. It is like the voice when a note is prolonged or run through a thread. Are you going to suppress the voice that has the note? Let us say, like this. Fastidioso que... ¿Comprende? Porque estás en la misma cuerda y no te varía la posición de la mano derecha. Ahora sí. very difficult for me to explain that in English, but uh, the nuances and the rhythm mm -hmm. uh, is the result of the lack of respect that we have for the rhythm. Oh, I don't understand. <laughs> you know, very difficult. <laughs> Will you please tell her that the nuances in the rhythm comes from the lack, the delicate lack of respect that we may have for the rhythm. But in this lack of respect, mm. you may define, mm. you may define the good artist and the bad artist. Mm. <laughs> That's what he's saying. He's saying that uh, in order to be faithful to, to the nuances, to the beauties of rhythm, you have to sometimes disregard, disrespect the, rhythm the itself. Strict, the strict rhythm. Right. Mm -hmm. yes. Get the yes. spirit rather than the mm -hmm. word. Mm -hmm. And there's no one who could bend a phrase with more logic than he could. Right. Really, I think that what he did was, was very important. He did that through the use of the instrument, the guitar. He found mm -hmm. that the guitar had its best uh, way of speaking in that way. Didn't have. If he were a violinist mm. or another mm. instrumentalist or a conductor, he wouldn't he have. Might have done it differently. Might have done it quite differently. Because the guitar does not have the sound that lasts all over. The violin can mold the sound and have it grow in time as he wants. But the guitar goes down. So you have to impress the, the idea of the sound before it dies. Mm and make it last in the memories. It's a matter of art, really, to, to work so that the, the elements of the, of the composition will come at the right time in the proper order of importance, not of time. 